So how this season is coming and I have a lot of surprises for my Patreon member. So if you're not my Patreon yet, then please check on the description list below. And today we're gonna create a very simple poster design and I'm testing our brand new LUT. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And that turns to cover, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go, we're in Photoshop and very first thing, let's just start with an artboard. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I'm going for 4x5, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop our very first image. So let's see, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Press Ctrl and T, let's make it a little smaller. Let's add a little rotation and uh, let's keep it right around here. And the main purpose of this video is to test a brand new LUT. So I'll just keep this tutorial very simple and short. So let's drag and drop another image right over here. And let's keep it under Control in T. Let's make it a little smaller, just like so. And let's keep it right around here. And then let's drag and drop another image. So this one, let's drag and drop right over here. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller. And let's keep it right around here. You know what? Like, let's flip this image on the other side. So Ctrl and T. Right click. Do a horizontal flip. I know the texts are flipped too, but uh, but it's just for the tutorial. So let's keep it like that. And let's move it somewhere around here. And let's select all of them, press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. And let's repeat right around here. All right. Now let's uh, and let's have back. Let's create a background solid. So let's go over here, create a solid color, and let's go for a kind of darker color. Yep, something like that. And let's add a shape. So let's go over here, click on that pen tool, and let's see. Just like so, and let's change, let's give it a kind of darker color. Somewhere around here, and let's click on OK. That's uh, looking pretty good. And let's add a shadow on bottom, so let's create a new layer. Go to Paint Tool again, and let's add... Uh, let's give it a kind of darker color, yep, something like this. And uh, let's make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. And uh, let's move it maybe right around here. And uh, let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T. And let's keep it right around here. So I have some pre-made assets, so let's drag and drop our very first assets right over here. Let's move it all the way to the top, Control and T. Let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here. And let's move it down, I guess, maybe somewhere around here. Control T, let's make it a little bigger, yep, just like so. And let's make a one more copy, Control G, and let's keep it just right above this one, control T, let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here and then let's go for another so let's see yeah let's go for this one, let's drag and drop this right over here control T, let's make it a little smaller and let's move it all the way to the top Let's add some rotation. Here we go. And let's make a copy. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Here we go. Right around here. And then let's drag and drop this picture on the very bottom. Uh, let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, like here 
and press Control and T. Let's make it a little smaller. Uh, let's keep it maybe right around here. Just like so. Now let's go to filter and let's go to blur and let's add some uh, tilt shift. So let's go over here, let's add a tilt shift. And maybe let's move it right around here. And maybe a little down. Yep. Just like so. And let's click on OK. And here we go. And let's do some color adjustment. So select this uh, layer, go to filter, and let's go to camera raw filter. And uh, let's go in basic tab, let's drop down the highlights, let's increase the shadows, go to effects, and let's increase the clarity, let's increase the texture. And let's go to color, and let's drop down the vibrance a little bit, yep, just like so, and let's click on OK. And uh, let's do the same thing for this image, so select this one, filter, camera, raw filter. And let's try applying the previous setting and let's see how it looks. I think this looks pretty good, but let's increase the shadow some more. Maybe exposure a little bit. Yep, just like so. And let's click on OK. And let's do the same thing for this image. Filter, camera, raw, filter. And let's try applying previous setting. And let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And now let's add a lot and very top and let's add a colored lot on very top and this lot is especially for my patreon members so let's go over here click on look up and from here click on load so i'm going to apply this lot so select this one and click on load and this is what we got and and so this is what we got and let's go on uh, very top let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's add some highlights so here we go let's uh change the blending mode to screen and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and maybe flow maybe around 65. let's add some highlights and right over here so we just like so and then let's go for kind of warmer color there we go create a new layer and again let's add some highlights right around here let's change the bending mode to screen or uh, let's go for a soft light i guess so maybe let's increase the opacity some more And for this one, let's change it to soft light, I guess. And let's go for kind of lighter bluish color. Here we go. Now let's drag and drop this texture on very top. And let's change the blending mode to soft light press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger there we go you know what like change some blending mode to screen i guess help us change it to screen ctrl t like so maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit there we go and let's drag and drop another texture on very top uh, let's change the blending mode to screen too. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's create a layer max. Go to brush and make sure. Make sure the color. And let's go to brush and make sure the color is black. And let's erase uh, some of these bars from here. All right. Let's add a rectangle. Here we go. Let's change the color to white. Maybe a little lighter. Yep. And let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. 
Let's make it a little smaller. Maybe some more. Here we go. And maybe let's add some text right around here. And let's change the color to kind of darker color. Just like so. And and uh, let's drag and drop this picture right over here. Let's keep it just above that rectangle and press Alt and click in between those layers and let's create a clipping max and press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's bring it down. And let's creep everything inside our group. Control G and let's rename it as a picture frame. And let's keep it under this image. Or maybe, yeah, let's keep it right over here. Press Control and T. Let's add a little rotation. Let's keep it right over here. Let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. And maybe let's make a copy. Control J. Control T. Let's add a rotation. And let's keep it right around here. Let's get right around here. Just like so. Now let's drag and drop this image right over here. And then let's replace this image. So right click, create clipping max, control T. Let's make it a little bigger, yep, just like so, maybe some more. Here we go. And well, let's merge this group, so press Ctrl and E. And Ctrl T, let's do a warp. Somewhere, something like that. Here we go, and let's move this right under control T let's keep it right around here and let's add some text So, alright, so that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, you guys take care, be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.